Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you uh, from my off-grid studio uh, with another explication request. If you have an explication request, you can send it to explication request at guruexamprep.com. This is a uh, request from a 65 test taker using the Kaplan QBank. If you have the Kaplan QBank, which I highly recommend, you can just send me the QID 1525541 in this circumstance, and I can bring it up uh, backstage. Uh, for giving you a commercial uh, for the Kaplan QBank, on this Series 7, it's like $55.80. I'm not sure what the Kaplan QBank is, a paid supplement is on the 65. They get a 15% uh, discount at checkout with Guru15, that discount code. And uh, for that brief commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on uh, Kaplan content like this. All right, let's take care of this uh, question this morning. An investor purchased stock for $50 at the beginning of the year. In December, the investor liquidated his stock for $55, while also receiving dividends of $2 during the year. Assuming an inflation rate of 3%, what is the investor's real rate of return? I think uh, 65 test takers, I think, overestimate how many math questions they're going to get. Max, three or four, but this is certainly one of them. I would be able to do current yield. I'd be able to do total return. I'd be able to do tax and tax-free equivalent, and I would be able to do real rate of return. Uh, I'll also put this in the 66 playlist because it's also testable in the 66. These are called performance measures, performance measures. Uh, all right, well, let's dig into the question. There are only two ways you can make money in an investment. Those two ways are income stream and or price appreciation. For example, if an investment has no income stream, stock with no dividend, uh, raw land, something like that, the only way you're going to be able to make money is to sell that to someone else for more than you originally paid. So, you know, if it has both of those components to the investment, then you can get what's called total return. That would be what you receive from the income on the investment, as well as any price appreciation, or I should say depreciation, right? Could go down as well. Okay, so here, a real rate of return means, you know, are we getting ahead in terms of purchasing power? You know, the whole point of delaying gratification and making investments is that at some point you have more purchasing power. So let's see if this uh, this customer actually got ahead here. So uh, 55 is the sales proceeds from selling the stock. Uh, minus our cost basis, which was 50. So here we made uh, $5 from realized price appreciation. Well, I can't stress to you how much the 65, 66 NASA exams in general are reading tests. And you got to read carefully, right? So this says realized if it's an unrealized, that could be uh, different, right? What's the unrealized return? Here it's realized because we sold the stock. Uh, while also receiving $2 in income from the uh, dividend, right? So there's our $5 we made in price appreciation, but we made another $2 in income. So our total return from this investment is the income stream and or price appreciation is $7. And to make that $7 total return, we had actually spent 50. So had the question asked us what the total return is, it did not. But had the question been, what is the total return? That would have been 14%. But did we really get ahead? Do we have additional purchasing power? You know, for example, if inflation's uh, 9%, which we hit here uh, very recently, uh, that would be, what, a 5% real rate of return. So real rate of return now is saying we should take that inflation rate away from that and so 14% minus the inflation rate means our real rate of return. It looks like we did okay here, right? We're still up. We have more purchasing power. So we made 11%, and that is the answer uh, to this question. Please note, they did offer us here uh, D as a choice, and D would have been the right answer. We asked you total return. Uh, so I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your exam is a cinch. Yard by yard, your exam is hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request.